Chifrinos and welcome back to another episode of our Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. We're on season 2 Cinderella. Here is the Cinderella Chateau in all its beauty at night time and wow a lot happened in last episode as you guys may remember. So Cinderella met up with her fairy godmother who happens to be her twin sister, kind of handy if you ask me, right here in this beautiful little waterfall location. The fairy godmother gave her a makeover but she didn't actually need to use any magic because Cinderella had that in her all along. I mean, it was literally just a hairbrush and a dress. Like, my girl had that going for her. Instead, she decided to use her fairy godmother to try and free uh, Anastasia from her kind of... Uh, her life, which was different to Cinderella's, but in many ways, just as kind of controlled and almost just as kind of, I don't know, servant-y, but in just very different ways. Serving her mother's kind of desires. Of course, our evil stepmother is still alive. Lady Tremaine, who wet herself at the party. I mean, a lot happened, like I said. She is still alive and kicking, I'm afraid. She is having a bath in here, and then we've got uh, Prince Alexander having a bath in here as well. Neither of them are particularly happy, and Cinderella has awoken. <laughs> I don't think you should be asking her for advice. I think what you should be doing right now, Cinderella, is trying to get into her good books because, uh, well, I don't think you can get into her good books. I think Lady Tremaine is going to be working Cinderella super, super hard for her remaining life to try and take out her anger on her. Because if you guys remember, Cinderella arrived at the ball. She actually used this ball as a distraction to help Anastasia get away, which I think Lady Tremaine will now have realized that Anastasia is nowhere to be found. She has run away with her baker grumpy and got a happy end of life. That does unfortunately mean though our poor little Cinders is still trapped in the mansion. She didn't get a chance to escape herself. So instead she is still having to serve all of her mean family including Drizella who is still keeping a secret the fact that that little Babalaru, where's he gone? He's sleeping somewhere. He's asleep in his bed. It's not Prince Alexander's either. It's actually her true love Aaron's. Uh, is it Prince Aaron? Yeah, true love Prince Aaron's. And Cinderella's going through a phase. I mean Cinders you can be in a phase all you want, uh, but you ain't getting out of doing all the housework. In fact, I don't think Lady Tremaine would let you go to school anymore. She's going in here to get a drink. Life has kind of definitely thrown a curveball at her. Only one of her daughters is married off. She's only killed two husbands that we know of. I don't know. It's not really what she was expecting. So instead, she's going to take it all out on Cinderella. However, Cinderella, if you noticed, she is feeling super flirty. She's just in a real good mood because while she spent kind of her early teen years pining after Prince Alexander who admittedly was very sweet to her in the beginning but then the minute um actual power and you know marrying the sister who was the eldest and who was like the most prolific like not the one that was basically the house servant when the opportunity arose he dropped Cinderella like a hot cross bun uh well you don't you actually don't drop hot cross buns I don't know like a piece of ice I hate ice so I'm gonna say like a piece of ice he dropped it so fast and definitely traded up his options, which means Cinderella was left heartbroken. However, there was a much less sort of uh, powerful prince, a more shy prince who checked in on Cinderella to find out how she was doing, but preferred to be away from the crowds, practicing his music, and of course, doing a lot of going to war with the big whole, like, sword thing he has on his back. And that was Prince Kian, who noticed her when she was kind of feeling down and much more invisible, and who she decided to have her dance with, and also her first kiss with, when she crashed the ball. Oh, and drunk Lady Tremaine and Drizella are fighting. Yep, she is angry drunk. I don't know if she's just found out about, uh, what's he called? Darian's actual heritage. Darian, who you guys said I should change his name to Darian uh, Tremaine, which kind of makes sense. Oh, Lucifer is back. Awesome. But yeah, I feel like she's just found out and beaten up Drizella, but also said this secret has to go to the grave. Do you know what will happen to you if anyone finds out that you've had a son that isn't the prince's? He is in line for the throne. You will end up with your head cut off girly. Times were not kind to women's in these days at all and they were definitely not kind to adulterers so you keep this to yourself Gisela. Besides I feel like Gisela and Darian will soon have to pack up and return to uh, Prince Alexander's lands wherever they may be. He's in line to the throne like I said he's the most powerful. He has the most going for him in terms of marriage potential of all the princes which is why Gisela got him and yeah Lady Tremaine really has poor Cinderella on all the worst jobs today. There are two toilets to be fixed. So there is a lot to be done in the house. There's 
leaves to be collected and burned as well. But literally, she's been in a flirty mood all day. No matter what happened in the last episode, no matter how sad she got, she's still super happy. She's happy because she's had true love's first kiss. But of course, she cannot get married until Lady Tremaine dies. And by the looks of it, she ain't dying anytime soon because she's still hanging around the house. Hanging around our lives like a bad smell. But as soon as she dies, I mean, we can definitely go ahead and if we choose to marry Prince Kian, we can do. I feel like in these days, there wasn't really like a dating period. It was kind of like you either marry or you just don't like there's no in between it was kind of intense so i feel like we should probably uh, replicate that on here as well and uh alexander who is still a teen actually he's a lot younger than drizella a lot younger than drizella wow a young prince in line for the throne uh he's angry all the time he's so angry about drizella and aaron i think if he actually knew the truth about the whole aaron baby situation I don't even want to think about what his wrath would do. And there's an evil part of me that's like, if I stock this with sharks and push Lady Tremaine in, can I push Lady Tremaine in there? I don't feel like Cinderella would actually do this. Oh, she can't reach it. Can you not get to her? <gasps> Wait, Dopey's wondering if I want to come over. Yes, because that's where Anastasia is. Okay, let's go over and see Anastasia and Grumpy living all happily ever after together. So this is nice because it's actually the first time we've got to see Cinderella and the little cottage since I've moved out. Oh my gosh, it still even has the big, huge dollhouse, which, I mean, if I was still living here, I think I would get rid of. Sneezer still likes playing the piano. And oh my gosh, this is actually just so freaking cute. I miss this i miss this like adorable little house <gasps> with the garden oh my gosh so cute and our fairy godmother there as well we are hungry and we're also stinky from doing chores all day i think we should try and take advantage of the shower while we're here okay these guys still seem very adorable together having a little banter that i don't know i feel like anastasia is still a tremaine these kind of things can still go very wrong but still oh my gosh still being so freaking cute together bless them i'm so glad she got her happy end and oh my gosh, a bit of mum's home cooked cooking as well. Back to being just like a, one of the seven dwarfs, not Cinderella with all of this stuff ahead of us and all this like scary stuff we have to do with a scary evil stepmother. Just like nice happy home times with the dwarfs. This is so cute. You'll actually get to see these guys more once Lady Tremaine kicks the bucket. I'm sad that my shark's in the pond. Idea does not seem to have worked. And also she's really enjoying, oh, what's this? Prince Alexander, I've heard that you and Kian Goldsmith are good friends now. You're clearly getting good popular. You're getting more popular. Clearly you're a good person to know. We didn't want to know me before I got close with Kian. Prince Alexander trying to sneak back in? I don't know. I don't know. I think he's probably realizing he's made himself a little bit of a massive error. However, we can't stick around here for too long because our absence will be noted and we need to go home and cook for everybody. So it's been so nice seeing you all, but I'm gonna have to leave. I'm sorry. So time to get into the kitchen and serve some dinner for everyone, please. I think Lady Tremaine will demand gourmet food as well. So herb crusted salmon it is. And oh my gosh, can toddlers crawl through the, these little doors? Because he's in here. Little Darian is in here. You're not meant to be able to do this. <laughs> In here, bopping to my music. We've got Prince Alexander bopping out there. I don't know how he got in, but I like his moves. And oh my gosh, yeah, he is his mother's child. He is in here wrecking, making Cinderella's life harder. Yay. And I can't feel too bad that Lucifer's having the first bite, I'm afraid. Because, you know. Oh, he's learned not to eat people food. Oh, that's kind of a shame because I kind of liked making everybody cut infested food. So little Cinder is out here doing a gardening at 20 past 11 at night. And since since Lady Tremaine is so focused, I'm kind of wondering. I don't know if it's just unreachable, but honestly, if anyone was going to uh, put sharks in the pool, let's face it, it's probably going to be her. We might have kind of had Cinderella briefly considered the idea, but she was never going to follow through with something like that. However, Lady Tremaine, I definitely don't put it above her to do such an evil thing. And oh my gosh, we have sharks in the pool now. <laughs> I don't remember this part of the films. Okay, she's probably like now adding this as one of Cinderella's things to do is... Please make sure you clean the pool of the shark pond and make sure it's real nice and clean. She literally will have to clean the garden as well. What what happens? 
Can she actually die this way? I don't know. I'm gonna do a hot save just in case. Please don't die clean in the shark pond. This has turned into some, some like James Bond villain level nonsense right now, but I'm kind of here for it, so. This feels so freaking dangerous. Like, please, I've saved the game. I can't like lose my challenge. So if something goes wrong, I'll be here uh, ready to reload, but still. I oh, you just throw in a thing. Is that it? Oh my gosh. Okay, the water is being cleaned now. Cinderella, you're making me so nervous being on the edge of the pool like that. Please be careful. Where's, is Lady Tremaine awake? Oh my gosh, she's literally right there. No, Cinderella, get to bed, get to bed. This is really not safe. Honestly, just go to bed. She can't have that long left to live. Her bar is glowing. So just play it real safe for the next two days, okay? So Drizella is up early in her little skincare mask and I just noticed that, look at this, hot and cold, are they on or off? She has like terrible romance with Prince Alexander, but even with Prince Aaron, even though they still have romance romance, they don't like each other anymore. So I think they probably had it out in the last episode. Either he's worked out that she has his son, but she is keeping up the lie with Alexander and he's annoyed about that. Or she has straight up told him that she'd rather keep the wealth and status and become queen when Alexander gets the throne than stick around with actual Aaron. He also has black eyes by the looks of it, so I feel like there was a physical element to this argument too. But yeah, they are no longer particularly in love or even friendos anymore. I notice as well, very little parenting happens here. In fact, Cinderella tends to spend a lot of time checking in on him more than anyone else. Although I will say that Lady Tremaine seems to quite like him. He is, yeah, I think she actually has the best relationship with him. Yeah, look, Lady Tremaine, they're actually friends. Oh, he also gets on pretty well with his father. But yeah, no relationship at all really with Prince Alexander, who is his father. Kind of awkward. So Cinderella, after successfully cleaned out the shower tank, is cooking some omelettes for everybody for breakfast today. And Lady Tremaine showing more affection to her cat Lucifer than she ever shows to anybody else in the house. Gisela's just watching as Darian takes himself to bed. Having a nap because nobody's actually taking him to bed. Gisela, do you mind like just, no, you don't even have the option to do anything nice with him in bed. Okay, you can't read him to sleep or tuck him in. Great, you just do you. And omelettes are served for the rest of the house guests. And you know what it is for Cinderella. It's another hard day of chores. Yeah, I'm sorry, Cinders. Another whole day of chores. I know it's really boring. I know you were all glamour and glitzy at the ball before, but that was the one night thing, I'm afraid. And I do feel like since Prince Alexander is clearly not really enjoying being here, that he's probably gonna suggest to Drizella that, you know, it's time to return to our kingdom. It's big, it's stable, it's peaceful, and it's very wealthy. And I just think we've played like house here for a while. It is time for us to return to our kingdom, which I'm a little bit worried worried about for Cinderella because that is literally just gonna leave her and the stepmother in the house together. Snow wants to come over and hang out. So I would love to snow, however, that would mean just leaving, like, while I'm doing my chores, you with Lady Tremaine. And you are soft and gentle. You have not been hardened by life like Cinderella has. I mean, you've been hardened by toddlers, but that's different. I don't want to put you in the firing line of a very angry Lady Tremaine who does not have much time left to do her evil bidding. Look, literally evil laugh as I say that. Evil laughing away like a maniac. Oh, and now she's yelling at somebody. Who's she, uh, who's she what's she doing? She just started yelling at Prince. Alexander. I don't think she's happy about them moving out. I mean, he's gonna be king one day. I feel like he kind of gets a choice. And Cinderella is on, you guessed it, laundry duty. <gasps> Atrocious reputation. I thought she was dying. I thought that was it. I thought she was dead, but no. And now she's trying to steal Prince Alexander's money before he leaves the house. She's trying to steal the money from him. Literally tried to rob him before he left. He now despises her. And I think at this point he'll be like, yeah, Drizella, pack your bag, we're off, okay? I am way too powerful and in line for the throne to be dealing with this nonsense. And oh my gosh, he's literally hysterical. She's made the poor boy a hysterical, like literally. He's sick. He's a wreck. He's He's just obsessively like washing his hands. He's like, I need to leave this crazy house. Unfortunately, Cinderella does not get that option because she wants to protect her family. But the minute Lady Tremaine dies, she does not have that obligation anymore. So let's go ahead and move these guys out and away. And now it really is just Cinderella and Lady Tremaine. And I think when she's finished this laundry, I'm just gonna get her to walk Bruno just to get her out the house because I'm kind of scared right now. Okay, so we're gonna go for a long walk because I feel like that is our safest option. Just, we're doing chores, we're being good, and we're getting out the house, and we're getting away from Lady Tremaine and her pet sharks. Three of them, I see, actually. 
Three sharks in there. Are they hungry? I'm scared to feed them. Oh my gosh, they do need feed as well. I don't want to feed them. It's scary. I don't know how frequent deaths are with the sharks. Like, I honestly don't know. And oh my gosh, Anastasia with the spine. Mom. And it's making me question my opinion of you that everybody else despises you. Yes, move her out, get her into a cottage, get some fairy godmother on her, and the spine is shining. I'm blinded by the spine, and I love her. I'm just glad we're off and out on our dog walk. Make it long. Honestly, make it long. Doesn't matter that it's raining. Walk in the rain, get away from the house, just be away, be safe, be happy. And I feel like the little bit of heartfulness that... Lady Tremaine might have. Like, if at the bottom of a cold, dead heart, there is some love at all. I think she is kind of sad that both of her daughters is left out. One escaped. I mean, in these times, you did marry people off. Marry your daughters off and move them out. That's kind of what happened. It still is what happens in some places now. Yeah, that is kind of what she did with Gisela. And oh my gosh, people keep trying to set her up. Literally, people keep trying to set her up. I mean, does she want more money? She probably wants entertainment. I can't imagine her saying no to another potential spouse to kill. And oh my gosh, he's a celebrity as well thorn bailey and i don't know that is this guy meant to be like nice or not i don't really know i'm fairly sure he's married like i'm pretty sure he's married with a child right so why is he on a date with us i'm gonna ask him if he's single i am a parent okay and you're married you are married okay so why are you on a date flirting with me oh my gosh paparazzi noticing she's like Hi. A date with Thorn Bailey is not where I saw this episode going. I'm not gonna lie. I've got to say, to say that she's an absolute terror, it's actually quite easy to build up romance with her while literally getting photographed. Getting photographed with Lady Tremaine when he's got a wife and kid at home. I hate to break it to you, Thorn Bailey, but I sort of feel like you deserve whatever's coming to you today. And how is she such a nightmare at home, but out in the wild, she's got a hilarious rapperty. Rapart. Rapperty. <laughs> No, I know what the word means, but I don't know how to say it. Why is it the story of my life? Why did no one teach me how to pronounce stuff? I feel so ashamed. And oh my gosh, I have a lot of money. That's what we like to hear. Well, I feel like this date has gone very well. Very well indeed. Even though she keeps wanting to be evil, I I've got to really like keep it together. Well, that was a nice time. I'll call you maybe. Why don't we do one better thorn? Um, we're going to invite him back to ours. I want to see the money. I want to see how much money he's caught. <gasps> maybe we can push him into the shark pond. Oh my gosh, all this time we thought it was for Cinderella, but it was actually just for more money. I guess there's not that much benefits killing Cinderella, but killing a thorn on Bailey. There's some benefit to that. Especially if, oh, they're off to go woohoo. Okay, awesome. You guys <laughs> did not wait around. In Anastasia's bed, what is wrong with her? Oh, if you're wondering why I've changed outfits, I've just come back from yoga, so I'd say I'm feeling very zen, very happy, very chill. But it was a really tough session, so it may have previously been, I won't sacrifice someone to the sharks because I've just done yoga. Now it's where my sharks are, are they hungry? In you go, Mr. Very Rich Thorn Bailey. Wake up. Come on. She don't have long left to be evil and I feel like you know babes needs full potential for her evilness so why don't we uh why can you hook up but you still can't ask him to split up with his girl his wife is she asking to be boyfriend asking him to be boyfriend I don't know. Thorn Bailey how many of you guys have romanced him in your game I think he came with uh get famous pack but he's about to get sharky in my pack. I just need him to leave the wife now and then bibbidi bobbidi boom, I get all the money. Okay, literally boyfriend. I swear he's still got a spouse. You can have a spouse and a boyfriend. Oh my gosh, I did not realize that was a thing. How have I never realized that? Convinced to leave spouse. This is like actually so evil. Is he just straight up agreed for it? <gasps> is he just actually straight up agreed? That's so harsh. <gasps> He's left his spouse? Wow, apparently they're already divorced. That was speedy. I'm going for the proposal, but honestly, I feel like it's very soon. Can he see through this? No. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, even if it's Lady Tremaine, it's still pretty embarrassing. Just give us the money, though. So sudden, we just shared our first kiss, and now you want to get married? What's the rush? Let's enjoy the moment. We can think about marriage later. No, I want the monies. I want to find out just how rich he really is. Wait, can I ask him to join the household? And then I don't actually need to marry him. If I join the household, can I take his money? Oh, 
He's got 50k. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Octavia. I'ma take all that money. For now, I'll leave you with one pound. Oh my gosh. Yes. And then, Thorn Bailey, why don't we take a beautiful walk out into the garden with the Sharkos? Come on, Thorn. You are sure a Thorn in my side. Because we don't need you anymore. We've kind of got what we want. This is Lady Tremaine. This will be the third spouse that she's killed that we know of. I feel like there could potentially be more. And Thorn, why don't you go play with my new pet sharks? Don't worry. They are like super, super friendly. Took all their teeth out and everything. There's really no danger here. Are you actually playing with them with fish? This feels super stupid. Can I make him get in? Yeah, jump in. Go play with them. Oh my gosh. They're actually doing twirls and everything. Are these sharks actually low-key quite cute? And I just didn't realize. I don't know. Also, did anyone growing up feel like sharks were going to be much more of a big threat? Oh my gosh, look at these sharks. But did you think sharks were going to be a much bigger threat than they actually have been to your life? Because I have. Also, quicksand and black holes. None of them seem to have interfered with my life very much. Ooh, he just got a little nibble on his hand. None of them, okay, wow, well, we're going for it. None of them actually interfered with my life all that much, but I always felt like they were gonna be a really big issue. I feel like he might be about to survive this. He's been down there a while. Oh my gosh, he's survived it. No freaking way. You're very sad because you're divorced. You have a broken heart and it's over. Oh wow, he's regretting things very, very quickly. Go play again, okay? Go do some more plays. Cinderella coming over to be be like, Thorn, maybe don't do this. Maybe this is foolish. Maybe don't go play with the sharks. What do you think? Not, oh, he's going for it again. Lady Tremaine sure has done a number on him. And is this yet another case of the game should be much easier to kill people? Like, the sharks are literally swimming away from him. I think maybe sharks are friendly. Okay, let's try some piranhas and let's play with them. Okay, we're in with the piranhas now. <laughs> Why is this man that's so hard to kill? I thought this would be a real swift and easy death. I'm glad I practiced this before Cinderella because honestly, this guy's very good at him. I feel like he might freeze to death before he gets eaten. Oh my gosh, seriously, why is it so hard? Oh, has it happened? Oh, yes, oh my gosh, finally, finally. Oh my gosh, that, what? That wasn't a very, oh my gosh, they are quite scary looking though. Okay, sharks friendly, piranhas not so much, and wow. That is actually a pretty drowned. That's actually quite grim for The Sims. Well done. They don't usually do stuff like this. Is that grim? Oh, hey. Bruno with grim being like, well, yeah, that was a stupid idea. I don't know who this person is. Probably a fan. But yeah, guys, Thorn Bailey. We managed to kill Thorn Bailey. Yet another spouse we have killed. This one probably, I would say, our greatest achievement yet. The piranhas ain't even eating him. I'm just gonna point that out there. And Lady Tremaine just sleeping, completely oblivious and unaware. Cinderella did try and warn him, but he did not listen to us. Boom, boom, boom. Another spice bounce to dust. How many have we killed now? Three. I kind of low-key feel like there could be more though. Oh, look, Dustin. These are the three we've killed that we know of. But she has two daughters with two different dads, so. Could also be some more deaths, I'm just saying. We've got a gravestone right here. R.I.P. Thorn Bailey. We went from a date to piranha death impressively quickly, I would say. And now we know what is the best situation to uh, kill a Cinderella. It is a piranha. So Cinderella at bright and early, completely unaware that she could have a bit of a disastrous day ahead of her. She may soon be swimming with the fishes. Lady Tremaine Huntington awake, feeling flirty. Doesn't even look that sad, just kind of needs a wee. That's all that's going on with her. And it's time to get her some breakfast. So let's do some French toast. Probably the best breakfast of all. And oh my gosh, Lucifer's just been sat eating for like literally an hour. Bruno's not had any food because Lucifer's such a fatty. And Lady Tremaine off to go play chess. No doubt so that she can try and get herself in the focus mood mindset, which is where she likes to be when she's torturing little uh, Cinderella, who's very tired right now. And Grum again. Everyone trying to talk her out of being evil, but at this point, she's been evil for like a hundred and whatever days. I don't think she's changing anytime soon. Cinderella obviously did not sleep last night. Sick with worry. So I'm gonna let her get some shit out right now. Lucifer getting some love. The only person in the whole house that she's actually- <gasps> Oh my gosh! I was gonna say the only person in the house that she's actually nice to. And wow, Cinderella, 
You have literally got so lucky. So lucky! You are gonna be swimming with piranhas today! Do you guys not remember that from the film? There was definitely a piranha swimming scene. I think it's about one hour's uh, 17 minutes in. Go check. And Lady Tremaine Huntington the Third, Probably one of my most evil people ever. I, I actually think she probably put Tabby to shame in some ways. Even though she killed less people than uh, Grimetta, I feel like the pizzazz she had with it was probably more evil. But that is it, guys. Cinderella has been spared because Lady Tremaine Huntington has met her end. Little Grim is here to come and claim her. Cinderella having a little sleep, so she is kind of oblivious to the whole thing. You got very lucky there. The only person that seems to actually care. I actually know he doesn't even seem to care. Wow. You guys were meant to be all the way to the end because he's just having a little stretch and like, oh, you're dying. But there we go, guys. Lady Tremaine Huntington has died. She is gone, which means the only sim in the whole house still alive. Cinderella, the only person still alive in the Cinderella Chateau. And also sitting on a 79 thousand simoleon fortune with these beautiful grounds stretched around her because she is the only one still alive that has actually worked out pretty amazingly if i have to say so myself she doesn't actually even seem sad either her that she's died she is dehydrated though interesting i want her to like go down and like see the urn and see what her reaction to it is let's see what her morning looks like it's probably just like but then she's Cinderella and she's pretty sweet, so I don't know. This is her reaction. Oh my gosh, instantly playful and angry. She's like, I'm actually quite glad you're dead. Definitely actually quite glad you're dead. Drop in a little text. I wonder who that is too. But you don't have to sleep in the tower anymore. In fact, you can sleep anywhere in the house. I think we should potentially do some redecorating. Oh, babe, you don't even need to cry. You don't even need to cry. We can go ahead and have a little rejig of your appearance because you don't need to dress like this anymore. You are no longer the servant of the house. In fact, now you can be like the princess you always wanted to be. But look, one day she could wear a crown and a whole princess outfit. I mean, look at that. There's even like, if this crown is a little bit big and scary, there's like smaller ones. Oh my gosh, she could... She's gonna be a princess. Although I don't know if you can beat this for Cinderella. This feels like peak Cinderella for me. But at least now in the daytime, she has like a really regal look and a little winter's look as well. I'm keeping her in pale blue because she's Cinderella. So there we go, guys. Sat in the beautiful house that she's now somehow ended up with pretty luckily with a beautiful roaring fire in front of her and her faithful dog, Bruno. Little Cinderella has managed to out-survive Lady Tremaine and she saved her sister, Anastasia and Anastasia Alexander and their illegitimate child have gone off into Alexander's own home kingdoms. So I guess the next part of the story, now Lady Tremaine is gone, is for Cinderella to have some children of her own with one of the lucky princes and also begin uh, producing a higher, an heir, not a higher, an heir, for the next part of our Cinderella challenge. So our next princess is gonna be Tiana from The Princess and the Frog, which I need to watch. But in the meantime, we can get baby making with Cinderella and raise some kids in this home and turn it from a sad house into a happy one. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Which prince shall look frustrated at Cinderella? Give a call. Let me know in the comments below and I shall see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.